you have probably job started your core battery to give it a charge but here i'm not going to talk about on how to jump start the car battery but i'm going to explain to you on how to jump start your laptop battery firstly i'm going to demonstrate a scenario when you need to jump start your laptop battery and then i will show you on how to mitigate that kind of issue hi my name is gopal and welcome to my channel go tech talk if you are new here i create IT related content designed to help you stay informed about trending topics on information technology from computer hardware, software to networking and beyond. I have got you covered. So if you haven't already, be sure to smash that subscribe and like button and don't forget to turn on that notification bell. All right, now let's jump right into finding out the scenario when you need to consider jump starting your laptop battery. All right, this is my laptop. It doesn't turn on at all. I tried pressing power button like several times. First, you know, few seconds, it still doesn't turn on. There is no any indicator light, no lights on the keyboard. So I also tried giving power from external source. And this one is connected to my wall outlet. Uh, still no light at all here it could be two cases all right one it could be the motherboard is totally fried out the next scenario could be the battery is causing the problem so first we try to take a look on battery issue and then hopefully it will work and if jump starting battery doesn't work then that could be the motherboard issue okay Okay, I was able to take the bottom housing off and this is how it looks like. This is the battery and this is how you jump start your laptop battery. First, unplug the battery harness from the motherboard. All right, and then supply power directly from the wall outlet. To the laptop push the power button that's that looks good uh, I see some light on my keyboard and my display is coming up too whoo look at that my display is coming up so something is wrong with the battery maybe it wasn't communicating with the motherboard so in that case we need to jump start the laptop battery all right, so this is a perfect scenario. Okay, so without disconnecting the external uh, power source, plug in the laptop battery power harness back into the motherboard. There you go, it locks in. I, once you connect the battery to the motherboard, give it like, you know, two to three minutes of charge uh, from the wall outlet uh, and then make sure the battery is charging from GUI. Put back in the bottom housing. All right, you see my laptop battery was 60%, but somehow it doesn't want to turn on at all. But after jump is starting, the battery all right from 60% now it moved to 61% so that means uh, my laptop battery is charging but to be safe uh, you want to give a restart disconnect the external power source and make sure the laptop turns on without external power source all right okay it is coming back on without any external power source so we were able to fix the laptop battery issue. So now you know it. If it doesn't turn on at all, you don't see any activity light on the side, that means something is wrong with the battery. So disconnect the battery and and connect to external power source and then jump start the battery and you should be good to go. All right, that's it. I hope I was able to help you save some time and your money. If I did, don't forget to like this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.